Hey, it's Zach. Yeah, this again. Sorry guys, I haven't been uploading frequently, but yeah, I've been pretty busy lately. But hey, without further ado, I got a package from BX Customs. So yeah, y'all know that BX never fails to disappoint, even in these trying times when I don't got time to make videos and entertain all y'all. So yeah, without further ado, let's already get into this. I'm just seeing how I can get into it, and yeah, it looks like USPS was definitely having a field day with this one. Oh, and even this side really tells a story, like, oh boy. USPS definitely just did not give a crap this time. Maybe this is the weak spot I can cut through. Yeah, I think this is the weak spot. Ugh. Come on. And without further ado, yeah, I said that again. Y'all can say that again. Oh, I think I can, yeah, I think I can cut through this seam line here. It's a bit of an awkward camera angle. Oh, I have to cut a little bit more tape on the top here. I'm almost through, guys. Hang in there. Ah. Ah, oh, come on. There. And I gotta zoom in, don't I? Oh yeah, I do. There we go. We're through. And well, let us show off the goodies. Mm. Oh, what was that? All right, and that was all of it. <laughs> I smelled the box. Oh my god. And, ooh, what's this? But most importantly, guys, here it is. Now let's zoom in. All right, this is one of the figures, but... Oh, here's another one of the figures, and... All right, show yourselves, don't be shy. Another one of the figures, well, that's a bit of a crappy angle. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> I like that little episode three icon. <laughs> I don't know if that was intentional, but okay. I guess let's look at one of these guys. All right, first off, yeah, this is quite an obscure design that, yeah, I'm gonna have to do a little bit more explaining and not sound as awkward, but this right here, is supposed to be a 187th Cold Assault clone trooper, but not like exactly based off of the normal version of it in the Order 66 2 pack from the like Hasbro Order 66 2 pack line, but instead based off the packaging of it. This was a bit of a strange little goof, I guess, that was made by Hasbro's graphical designers, and they're probably freaking making the packaging for said Order 66 2 pack where you get the 187th Galactic Marine or Cold Assault and the Mace Windu. But for some reason, they made the helmet look like a Bark Trooper instead of a 187th Galactic Marine Snow Trooper. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was a really strange design, and BX wanted to make a figure of it. And well, I don't know who decaled the helmet, but the helmet's decaled, and the torso is. UV printed so yeah this uses this actually this torso right here uses a new formatting where it looks an awful lot like how Legos like classic torsos were formatted as you see right here that there's like a little bit of a border within there so yeah and even like at the neck there's a little bit of a border there too like the prints within the torso it's a little bit off the side on this particular one but I'm pretty sure the other copy because like the other copy I got, because I ordered two of these. This is just one of them. And I'll show the other, like, one I showed first off that was still in the bag. But I just thought I'd show this one off, because this one's definitely the most intriguing out of the bunch, and y'all would want to see it first, because it's a very strange design. It's basically a 187th Galactic Marine, but based off some strange goof made by Hasbro's, like, graphic designers making the packaging for said two-pack Order 66 thing. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll put that official Lego classic clone out to the side. And we're going to look at the other, like, different figure. 
which I ordered two of each. These were like from BX Customs recent drop, and yeah, this is a blaster, it's just typical classic loud hailer stud blaster. And here is the Concept Art Phase Two Heavy Clone Trooper. Oh my god, look at those friggin' microscopic hairs on there. Damn, that's dirty. Good lord. I have to take this, take a Q-tip to this when I'm like done the video. So there's little bits of microscopic hair on there. Like, see, look at that. The hell's that? Ah, well, I'll deal with that later. But yeah, I'll just nothing like a Q-tip can't fix. And yeah, basically this is a concept art for a heavy clone trooper, like a heavy trooper. It's some pretty early-ish concept art. Like it's quite obscure. No one's really seen this design, but it's basically just a decked out plain episode three or a phase two clone trooper with a few extra straps, some cartridges, a pauldron, and even more straps. A whole ton of freaking straps, which, yeah, I count this as a plain clone variation because it's literally just a plain phase two clone trooper, both some extra heavy stuff. So basically these two would be the same thing, but this has just got more equipment on it for dealing with like heavy weapons and stuff. Which the accessory this comes with, it just comes with a loud hailer stud blaster, but with a extra like cone, not cone, cylinder piece on it. So it makes it like a longer kind of, maybe a DC-15A blaster rifle in classic form. So that's what I was thinking today. I was thinking about, cause I knew the package would be out for delivery cause I checked the tracking a couple days ago. I was like, yeah, it's in Canada. It should be here pretty soon. And yeah, now it is, which I thought this would basically just be a DC-15A blaster rifle or unless BX was intending for it to be something else. Like, an, like some one of those heavy blasters or something like that. Otherwise, I'd say the execution is done pretty well. I'm probably going to give it a CAC white pauldron or just leave it be. I might leave it be like the 2007 327s, how they have. Like, sure, they have the little printed on pauldron design, but they don't have an extra pauldron cloth. So, yeah. Anyways, I guess I could lower the camera now. Now that I'm done opening the package. So, yeah, I'll just lower the camera down. I can just set the figure on here like this. And, yeah. There we go. Anyways, I got another one of these 187th Cold Assault Bark Troopers as well. Also, another funny name for this one that BX called it was the Elephant Bark because of how ridiculously long the supposed snout-looking thing is. Like, it's like a proboscis. It reminds me of that weird... It was, like, it reminds me of that Imperial Spy character from A New Hope. Was his name Garadan or something like that? He came in that Moss Eisley Cantina UCS set last year. You know the one. The one that has that funny death noise from like TCS or the plate saga or whatever. Anyways, this is the second one. The helmets were decaled and then like resin casted by someone. So yeah. I don't know who did them. But yeah. yeah they kind of look... I don't know. That's kind of weird looking. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's kind of weird. Kind of weird looking quality, but I'm just going to shrug that off, I guess. And then with decals, they're kind of finicky, so it's like, either take it or leave it. And I know. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, the accessory, like the last one, was just one of these classic Loud Hailer Stud Blasters. So yeah, I got two of those, and then another one of these. Then we got something else to look at, because the X told me he put some freebies in to make up for well, it taking a good while for him to pack it up after, you know, after we conducted business, that sort of thing, you know what I mean. Yeah, here's the second one. Some more like microscopic hairs on it that I should clean off with a Q-tip and, yeah, these use official episode three clone helmets, by the way, and BX told me he might be selling just the torso later on for like future releases and I got a perfect thing to use for plain clone like plain classic custom clones. I got the perfect secret weapon for that. But I shall show you later. So yeah, basically it's the same thing. So I might as well just get two of each, so yeah. So basically I'd have a good amount of all well, everything, I guess. So yeah. Anyways, I guess let's look at the freebies now, which they're in this little pouch. So let's have a look at what we got in here. All right, let's just pour them out gently. Oh, uh, would you look at that? Uh, looks like we got a, I think this might be an Aerialite Clone Commando helmet, and we got a funny looking, I think, could this, hold on a second. This seems to be the BX, like, 
classic 13th commander but it looks to have a few goofs on it and kind of and the circles are quite big looking and the same with like the gray being really like high aligned and such could this be a prototype i need to ask him what this is like there are a few wrinkles in it and a few kind of like just a few like i'll zoom in like just a few kind of faults on it like see here a few wrinkles and some kind of lines and stuff the circles are quite big and the like it kind of looks cool, actually. I kind of like that. And the mount's kind of off-center, too. This was definitely decaled by A-Star on Instagram, so I know who did this. And this must be a Aerial Lake Commando helmet, which, yeah. Speaking of Commandos, BX is working on some classic-styled clone Commandos, but he ran into a bit of a problem just printing the helmets, I guess. I think they're going to be light up, I think, so that would be real sick. But, yeah, I'll probably use this for something eventually. I'll just put it with all the Aerial Lake helmets, that sort of thing. Oh, uh, yeah, that is... Hold on a second. Yeah, that's Aerialite. I recognize that logo anywhere, which, yeah. Those are the freebies. Thanks, BX. Thanks for the little free helmets. So, yeah. I'll probably ask you what this is supposed to be. I know it's a 13th Commander. Like, the one I got all the way back in June, which, yeah. Well, that was all of it. Which, yeah, I ain't too surprised there. It was, like, quite interesting. I knew those freebies would definitely be interesting. Anyways, I guess it's time for a little bit of a summary and just to show off what I got, and yeah. That's pretty much it. And then plus the accessories, too. Which, might I add, it's a little bit seasonally appropriate to release this one around when it's, like, winter now, so it's, like, perfect. I might even do some toy photography of these ones soon. I got a classic Mace Windu from the 2006 Turbo Tank. He's not with me currently, but he's upstairs in, like, some storage. I'll probably drag him out eventually and use him for some toy photography alongside these two so that'd be nice but yeah and i'll probably clean some of these guys with a q-tip because of how friggin hairy some of them look like let's see if i can zoom in on one of them like see we got some microscopic hairs right there a few on there it's like like damn the friggin camera is picking them up today like damn but yeah 187th elephant bark galactic marine cold assault clones whatever you call them which yeah none this is like very early concept art the phase two heavy clone trooper which never appeared in the movie after like it was kind of just designed like there were so many unused clone trooper designs for revenge of the sith i'll definitely make a video talking about all of them including the myth the meme the legend the 442nd siege battalion yeah they were concept art they weren't a hasbro design that sort of thing which yeah Pretty good. I'm glad to finally have these since they're technically a plane clone variant. So, yeah. We got the official Lego plane clone. Like, let's have a look at the classic clone, like, plane family. We've got the dotted mouth. Oh, now it's not wanting to focus. Now it wants to focus. There we go. Plane, dotted mouth. Then we got the heavy clone now. And also, we have the Grade 41st 2. So yeah, it's like four, like, plane-esque clones, although this one's, like, sort of plain, but I counted it as a plane clone variant due to his helmet just not having any marks on it, while his torso is just kind of gray scale, as, I, as I'd call it. It's just gray. That's it. Okay, I try to put those ones back, like, put them back, and yeah. So, yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, focus there. Anyways, well, that was a pretty good order. Thanks, BX, for the freebies. Wasn't expecting this. <laughs> Still kind of can't believe I got this. Like, I wasn't expecting that. And I'd say these four right here are pretty good. Like, damn. Those were worth the wait. And the accessories are pretty decent. Like, they do, they do what they do, I guess. And, yeah, this was a bit of, like, this is kind of, like, foreshadowing to the, like, commando release whenever that happens. But, yeah. Anyways, guys, I guess I can just end the video here now. And, yeah, thanks, BX, for the freebies. Yeah, I'm glad this package got here safely despite it looking quite banged up. But, you know, good old USPS. And then Canada Post had to deal with it for a little while until it finally was in my hands. So, yeah. But, yeah, anyways, guys. I guess now... Yeah, I'll end the video here right now.
Well, guys, that's all for now. Bye. Just after filming, I felt that bag again that had those freebie helmets from BX, and apparently there was a third helmet in there. Yeah, this seems to be a test of the, like, decals made by A-Star Bricks that BX made a make for the, like, 13th release this year. Yeah. Seems to be a test. Doesn't feel like it was sealed. I think you could feel the actual decal. Well, that's interesting. Oh, I'll probably put that in the safety of a small Ziploc bag and probably keep that safe. So, yeah. Thanks, BX. Sorry I didn't notice this one earlier during well, filming, but hey, guess better late than never, so yeah.